It is ski season and with more people moving to Colorado and picking up skiing and snowboarding, we figured it's time for a refresher on the do's and don'ts of what to do on the slopes. I went to Loveland to chat with my friends at Ski Patrol about the ski etiquette to keep in mind this winter. All right, Chris, thank you so much for having us up on the mountain today. So, so many people are moving to Colorado and so many people are picking up skiing and snowboarding. We want to go through some etiquette with people. So, walk us through some of the things that we need to keep in mind when we're heading up to the slopes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, considering the early season conditions, one thing we really want to highlight is space, not speed. Okay. So, giving each other some space to, uh, through the rounds and um, Especially recognizing the, the downhill skier as the right away. Okay. So you should always be able to stop whenever you need to. Give space to the people in front of you. Um, so you can't you know, come in and crash into them. Okay, so Chris, let's say something does happen on the slopes. We do get into collision. collision. Uh, what do we do? Uh, if you do get into a collision, first thing, make sure you're both safe and okay. Um, try and get to an area where you might not get hit again if you're right below a low rover or something. Yeah. Um, if someone is injured, then get ski patrol there. Really important that both people stay on the scene and no one leaves that scene. So if you can flag someone down and have them go get ski patrol or call them, uh, call us on, on your cell phone, that's the best way to do and we are uh, encourage the U.S. share information and share contact information yeah. um, if, you're, if someone is injured. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about terrain, stuff that you guys have open, uh, stuff that we can do that's maybe newer for us this year. What do you guys have for us? Yeah, uh, just the other day, yesterday we opened with 6, so we have roulette open on with 6, and uh, we have search back open on with 3, and then off of Chet's Dream, we've got a handful of uh, natural terrain uh, runs that is just all natural snow, so Nick Snox and Tempest and Upper Richards are skiing really great right now. Heck yeah, amazing. Well, I have to say, last season we were uh, really excited to be able to check out the Snowcat skiing back there. Uh, can people still do that this season? Yeah, it, yeah, and I might be one of your guides out there, so please come check us out in Dry Gulch. Uh, it's a really awesome day out there. Let's talk about some tips that you guys really like to, um, you know, hone in for people like when they're heading up. Do you guys have like a list of things that you like to go through? for people when they're coming up here? Yeah, yeah, and because on this early season kind of I right now, people are out for the first time, so really get to know your equipment. Yeah. Um, make sure you have your ski legs under you, so take it easy. Let's start off with some gentle slopes. Okay. Um, if you've never ridden a lift before, then go to the operator before you start to get on the lift and ask them and get some tips from them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so just again, and I like, we want to highlight space and not speed, so get space on the mountain when from people in front of you. Awesome. I think one thing that I learned when I was growing up and I was skiing was trees don't move and it was one of the funniest things growing up right because you're like oh yeah of course trees don't move yeah. and then you smack into a tree and you realize wow these suckers really do not move. For sure. So you know when people are trying to like, kind of cut through the trees or they're you know being a little risky on the sides anything that you want to keep in mind and highlight when we're you know maybe playing around in there? Yeah. Uh, I would say definitely go with a buddy if you decide to go into the trees. Okay. Uh, if you've never been in there before, try and go in with someone that knows that area and take it slow. Yeah. Um, if you, especially if you've never been in there, look between the trees, not at the trees. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. You look at a tree, you go toward a tree. I can tell you that from experience. Excellent. Um, if we want to hold you guys up on the mountain, Chris, what's the best way to get a hold of Ski Patrol? Uh, to call Redline Ski Lewis bill number that's on the website. Right. Should be on your lift ticket, on your season pass, and you can uh, call that number and they'll uh, put you in touch with our dispatcher and we'll come right to where you are. Excellent. Chris, thank you so much for helping to keep us safe on the slopes. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Let's get out there. Let's go ride. All right, guys, know the code before you get on the snow. To learn more about the Skier Safety Guide, you can head to skiloveland.com slash plan dash your dash trip slash safety.